get captured. Heck yeah. Gibble. Heck yeah. Chimchar can evolve. Do it now. Monferno. I love the Chimchar line. Wait, oh, there's Darby and Alpha Crobat. Oh, I got it. <coughs> oh, oh, God. <coughs> oh, got too excited. Oh, there's a kibble in the rock. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me either, if that's what you're wondering. Sometimes I just, you know, break out in show tunes about what's happening in front of me. I want that piece. I want that piece of iron, please. Oh, hey. I can't even tell what letter that is. Weird angles. L. Professor Lavington told me how you fell to this land from the sky. For my part, I simply found myself one day here in Hisui, a region whose name I'd never heard. All I can remember was my own name. I was still standing there in bafflement when the Pearl Clan came to my aid. I showed a natural affinity for taming Pokemon, which is why I eventually became a warden. But still, I wonder what my true purpose is here. Ah, but now I've sidetracked us with this talk. Let's hurry onward. Stop. Stop doing what you're doing. And... Oh, a bronzor. What's the big idea of putting back all the torches I spent ages tidying away? You get some sort of amusement stomping around and ruining people's noble deeds? Oh? Rendering a cave impassable to people who venture inside hardly seems noble to me. Hmm. Well, this just goes to show that even we wardens don't always see eye to eye. I extinguished those lights for the sake of the Pokemon in the cave who prefer the dark. But now you louds have put my efforts to waste. If you think I'll just let you saunter ahead to meet Lord Electro, you're sorely mistaken. The only way you're getting past me is if you defeat my partner Pokemon. How will you proceed, Zack? I'll beat him. Ghost Gun Tank, show these louts the true meaning of silent but deadly. <laughs> Alright. Ugh, silent but deadly, eh? Uh, I wasn't ready for a fart joke in a Pokemon game. It's like my two favorite things. Pokemon and fart jokes. Strong style. High horsepower. It's a one hit KO. Listen here. Neither I nor Skuntank admit defeat just yet. Our challenge to you still stands. However, I will withdraw to afford Skun Tank time to recover. There's no shame in a tactical retreat. It's more of an advance, if you think about it. Keep your guard up. We'll be back. What a lively character. I cannot fathom Warden Melly's intentions, but for now, let's press on. Go back. Fuck off.
This is the ancient quarry. The stones used to build the temple atop this mountain were all cut from this place. Whether by humans and Pokemon working as one or by the labor of Pokemon alone, I cannot say. The stones that were left behind should serve to cover us from the gazes of wild Pokemon. Ah, there you are, Ingo. Volo, was it? What is the matter, sir? I wanted to ask about that memory loss of yours. Have you considered that it could have somehow been caused by the space-time rift? I have no cause to think the rift is to blame, but then again, I hardly remember a thing, so it's difficult to say with certainty. I can't remember my own home, nor my family, if I had any. So you might do better to pose your questions to Zack, I think, if it's to do with that rift. Indeed. Well, I do hope your memories return, Warden Ingo. How about you, then, Zack? Do you remember what you saw before you fell out of that rift? Was there anything inside? Maybe something. Interesting. You see, personally, I suspect that whatever is on the other side of that rift is causing the strange lightning that plagues us. That makes sense. Indeed, I did some digging and found records indicating that this space-time rift also appeared in Hisui in the distant past. That is why we already had a name for it, as it appeared, in fact. Now, what kind of world do you suppose stretches out on the other side of the rift? My guess is that it's Almighty Sinnoh's realm. But then that begs the question. Question? Why has the space-time rift reopened and when it closed once so long ago? And why would Zack have fallen through to us? There's just so much we don't know. I fervently hope you unravel this mystery, Volo. I'm sure it would ease people's fears over the frenzies of our nobles. And while you investigate, sir, I'll continue prioritizing the safety of the people living in this world. Oh, I am a mere admirer of the ruins a little more. If something needs investigating, then I would entrust that task to Zack. Until next time, then. I want he has a bun, I want a bun. I have all I have is a ponytail. Once we're through here, it will be just a little further. Let us move with speed. But not something. I didn't catch that last part. Because I was pushing buttons too fast. Of course. What I do. Ooh, iron. Ah, you're part of the galaxy team. I've been waiting. I came here since I heard you all were planning to set up a camp. But it seems not much progress has been made since that bronzo is getting in the way. It's not belligerent, but it seems like it wants something, so we can't just ignore it either. Please, do you think you could find out what it is what it is Bronzor wants? I absolutely can do that. Hello, Bronzor. Uh-huh. Is there something over that way? I don't know. Let's find out. It's probably this very sad Bronzor. Hello, Bronzor. I saw Bronzor go flying off in this direction all of a sudden. What in the... That's Bronzor. It's wooden and, and why did I read oh, I just cannot grasp the idea of reading English properly while recording or streaming ever. The amount of times I get tongue tied is ridiculous. It's wounded. This is no good at all. Here, I'll fix it right up. There, that should do it. Bronzo should be fit as a fiddle now. Seems the Bronzor at the new campsite was looking for its friend this whole time. I'm glad you looked into it, otherwise we may have been too late to treat this Bronzor. This land is dangerous even for the Pokemon that call it their home. It may be wise to be extra prepared as you explore this area. I'll be sure to keep a fine lineup of wares stocked for you, so please buy anything that you need. Ah, and it seems the base camp has been all set up while we were talking. In which case, I should get settled in as well. So long. I wish there was like turf wars between Pokemon like a Zangoose and a Surviper because that makes perfect sense like in Monster Hunter Monster Hunter World 
absolutely ridiculous watching like a devil Joe come in and destroy things. Ingo, sir. You would never expect to be able to climb such sheer cliffs as these, yes? But with Sneasler as an ally, it becomes the work of a moment. She is so at home on a cliff face, one might think she knew some secret, some hidden move. It's rock climb. Rock, rock climb, that's, that's what it is, rock climb. What am I saying? Hidden moves? There are no such things in Hisui, surely. Yet I feel as though I was on the cusp of remembering something just now. You got it, Ingo. You know what you're talking about. Just who was I before I came to Hisui? You were kind of like a jerk. You ruined my day many a times, to be honest. Like, so many times. But, you know what? I forgive you. You're a lovely person. I like your character design. I like your character. Your brother's pretty cool. Keep it up, Ingo. If you fell from the sky, you come from another world altogether, most likely. Perhaps a Pokemon battle with you would jog this memory loose. Would you honor me with a battle, Zack? Alright. I'll battle you, Ingo. All aboard, then. Machoke, prepare for departure. Machoke. You have three Pokemon? Bravo. Excellent. Your talent has brought you to the destination called Victory. Now, allow me to call Sneasler. That is one tall Sneasel. I think it's ridiculous. It's got like emo hair for a ribbon thing on its head. The claws are ridiculous. That, was, that, that thing is an incredible specimen. Allow me to introduce you, Zach. This King Claude Pokemon is Sneasler. Would you be so kind as to play your flute for her to hear? Sneasler, open her heart and learn well the sound of your play. And I got a toxic play from Sneasler. I'm afraid this is my final stop. Please proceed up the cliffs with Sneasler's aid and quell the lord up in the mountains. I will return to Jubilee Village. Please convey my well wishes to Warden Melly. Now then, all aboard. Oh, I'm in a little backpack. It's like Tanjiro and, and uh, Nezuko. Nice. <laughs> 